Hello and uh, welcome to Quick Draft Weekend, Murder to Karlov Manor here on The Stronghold. I'm the Magi and, well, it's murder. Uh, we are going to be jumping in here doing a little uh, quick drafting. This is my primary account and uh, because I had such a successful season with the Konzatar Kier, I am actually planning on paying for most of my drafts, at least starting off. Um, with gems. That's not something I normally do or recommend, but you know, when you have double the amount of gems that you really need, uh, it's a great time to be doing it. So uh, we're going to plop down that 750 and uh, get right into it. But before we get into all that, just a quick reminder that The Stronghold is producing content for you across a, a number of platforms. And Patreon has recently introduced an option where you can follow our content there without the need for any financial commitment. So even if you aren't ready to support the Stronghold, the Stronghold is better positioned to support you. So you never miss out on a thing. Now, uh, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, right do a little value drafting and it doesn't get more value than taking a pack one pick one nib mizzet uh, a card that is virtually unplayable in uh in limited and that's okay we don't mind that uh tunnel tipster pretty solid uh nervous gardener also really good um i think i kind of like the century here though as a direction, maybe pick up some white stuff early. Uh, red also tends to be fairly good on early things. Um, a second century though is pretty hard to pass up. I think uh, I think we go with that. And what do we got here? Um, the neighborhood guardian, pretty darn good. Shock also really solid. Uh, what do? I really want here. I like the Drone Smith a lot, uh, but I think Neighborhood Gardener is, uh, is probably where I need to be there. Uh, the Goat, uh, Fairy Snoop, not bad. There's not a lot here really for someone trying to play white green. Uh, so maybe we do pick up a, a little bit of red here in the form of the Goat. Not a hugely popular card. Drone Smith or Person of Interest, I'm going to take Drone Smith just because, uh, well, I'd rather have the Uncommon. Hedge Whisperer, I don't love. Uh, Detec Detective Satchel, on the other hand, pretty solid. And I really like it with Drone Smith. I think that pairs up very nicely. So we might be moving away from uh, the, the first couple of picks here. Caught red-handed, I don't love. Goblin Warchief, uh, well, we have a play set on that, so I definitely don't need to pick that up. So, I don't know, maybe we take the Orangutan here. Or do I just take the Caught Red-handed for the Uncommon? That feels like the correct play. Public Thoroughfare, pretty decent. Uh, Undercity Eliminator is a really solid playable card. Just not sure that's where we are at the moment. Uh, but we will go ahead and snatch that up. Uh, hmm, Make Your Move is, is pretty good. Fey Fight also pretty good. So I think probably we're more of a Fey Fight deck at the moment. Innocent Bystander is just terrible, as is Behind the Mask. I think we take the Snarling Gorehound and uh, see if maybe Black develops well. Apparently Black is very open. Uh, Reconstruction or Corner. I think, I think we take the Corner. And Stalker I don't love, but... Uh, well, there's our boy Rakdos uh, right up in there. Um, and we have a dual land, which of course is pretty good. But with the green dual lands in particular being in jump in, you're going to get those pretty quick. Rakdos, on the other hand, is a mythic. Uh, so I think that's probably where we're going. 
And uh, let's see here, Lost in the Maze, I don't hate. I think that gives me uh, three, three rares here. Here's number four. So we're getting to the point where we almost don't have to worry about winning. Um, really just one win at this point is pretty darn solid. Look at that, five uncommon cards um, at pick four pretty wild. Um, I think we take Buried in the Garden here. Um, it is certainly the best card there. And uh, maybe we even get an opportunity to play it. The chase is on. I don't really love. Uh, I think Hellion is a better choice if we're trying to stick red. Um, pull some of these. Actually, you know what? Uh, Detective Satchel is probably splashable at this point. So let's make those adjustments. I mean, I kind of like Agency Outfitter. Whipcracker also isn't bad, but Tunnel Tipster is by far the best card in the pack. Um, Unscrupulous Agent, on the other hand, might really be where we need to go. And uh, this will be my fourth pick on that. So I don't hate that. We, uh, we've now drafted it out. Bite Down and Crime, pretty good. I don't love Sanctuary Wall or Eliminate the Impossible. Um, another Unscrupulous Agent, though. <laughs> Feels like a thing that could be solid. Uh, Case of the Gorgon's Kiss, I don't love as much as uh, probably just going Mortipede here. Hmm. Now, you know what? I think we are going to take the case. Um, maybe we don't play it. That's a very strong possibility at this point. Um, let's see here. Soul Innervation feels like a pretty strong pick here. Minus four. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty strong play there. So Rakdos actually kind of coming together for us. Um, I don't hate Slime Against Humanity, but I already have the play set thanks to Jump In. Um, I think... Think maybe I want a reconstruction here, or well, we're already eleven cards. Uh, well, Gorehound is probably going to get played at this point, uh, and Eliminator is probably going to get played at this point. So uh, I think taking a black card here is uh, is definitely the right play, and I guess reconstruction is probably the better of those two. I don't know how I feel about Fester Leech. I really don't. But I think it's probably the strongest thing here for us. Uh, Shady Informant. Feels like the Windmill Slam best pick there. Uh, pretty late Mordekeed. Um, Whipcracker? Probably not splashing for Whipcracker, but I guess I could. Uh, War Leader's Call. I am, I am Windmill Slamming taking that card. I don't think I'm going to play it tonight, but it is really good. Uh, so Inside Source... Oh, Long Goodbye. Long Goodbye is absolutely the pick here. Hmm. Tunnel Tipster, uh, Unscrupulous Agent. Wow, we are just, we are just racking those up. Um, do I just take one of these? I kind of feel like maybe just taking one of these strictly on value. I think we're gonna take the haunch. Galvanize really, really strong. Probably not going to wheel. I think I'm gonna take the vampire here. I don't know that we splash it, but it could happen. Mistvale Plains, I'm not terribly curious about. 
as my eye drifts to Curious Cadaver. I mean, something here is going to wheel back to us, and there's a couple of decent black cards. All right, I'm gonna go for agent number three. How crazy is that? Uh, Slice from the Shadows feels like the correct pick here. Uh, we are leaving the haunch on the table, but I don't think we can do Detective Satchel at this point. I'm not feeling like the splash is really where we wanna be. Uh, Fairy Snoop maybe isn't the worst card in the world for us. I mean, I think it's definitely better than Knife. Our, uh, or Flotsam and Jetsam. So we will go with the Snoopy doggy dog. Um, wow, that's a pretty late galvanize, even though I'd much rather have the scapegoat. We're not gonna see any of this back. But uh, yeah, I think taking the galvanize is the correct play there. Uh, Shady Informant. Feels pretty strong. And I don't think we're really this deck, but we'll go ahead and pick that up. Uh, Snoop or Braggart? I think I like Snoop better for this deck. Um, Gort, wow, actually... Both of these are super strong, and I think I actually like Gorehound better. I'm gonna go against the AI. Um, here's these black cards coming back around. I don't love Confiscation, but maybe we play it. What do we got here? I mean, honestly, not that bad. Um, okay, so I think we are going to actually splash white. Um, and maybe Neighborhood Guardian. Gorgon's Kiss is definitely out. Um, the Undercity Eliminator, I think, needs to be out. Fester Leech, I think, is not really where we want to be. And it actually wants me to cut both the um, the fairy snoops, which is uh, which is kind of interesting. So what does it want me to play that I'm not? Uh, obviously the gorehounds. How did those get out? That's crazy. Um, and wow, is that is that just my deck? Just like that. The AI says to go 377. I don't hate that idea. We did get uh, five rares. And did we pick up a, uh, a list card or something like that? I can't remember. No, I think we must have passed it at some point. That is uh, that is looking correct there. Uh, I do think making that adjustment is probably the right way to go. I mean, we got some pretty solid early plays. A lot of unscrupulous agents on two. Yeah, I think this is a, a pretty reasonable deck. Let's uh, let's run it around the block and see what we can do with it. To make value, I kind of need one win.
I mean, turn one Gorehound, it gets a lot worse than that, you know what I mean? Bit of a slow start, and then we got War Leader's Call potentially coming down next turn. Um, yeah, I I think I like Wisp Drinker too. We we might accidentally get some wins here if we can curve out like this. I would like them to tap out for like a face down so I can cast War Leader's Call and not worry about it being countered. That works too. They're uh, they're gonna go detectives pretty hard apparently. Oh yeah, I'm liking that a lot. A lot. Projector Inspector. So do I just want to kill that with Long Goodbye? I mean, I kind of feel like I have to now that it's 5-4, right? I would have liked to have gotten the Wisp Drinker down. That would have been really sweet. The Crime Stopper. this wrapped up pretty well because uh, this can't block anymore so uh, they have problems they need to solve for sure yep okay that's a good start I will give you that can you play a creature or two creatures I guess Yes, they can't. I think we're just gonna kill him with War Leader's Call here. Yeah, they're done. Okay. Well, that was uh, surprisingly good. I mean, War Leader's uh, call, just kind of a bomb. Uh, I don't know even what else to say about that. Well, if that's not a rage quit, um, I'm not really sure what is. <laughs> wow, and removal on top of it. Ridiculous!
I almost hope they take this trade. They did not. Oh, we ground away our rockets. just going to block with the Maverick here. thing about this is um, Unscrupulous Agent exiles the card instead of putting it in their graveyard like they want. I kind of want to hold long goodbye until they start face downing cards. No, oh, they, wow, that's, that's two super fast ones. I was right, that was kind of a rage quit of having to just give up card after card after card. So two wins already. Loving it. Um, well, we have no black mana. That's uh, that's the problem here. I love Rakdos. I love pretty much everything else going on here. Um, I don't love that I don't have black mana. And risking it on this just doesn't feel smart. Wow, they did it to us again. Um, okay, this, this I'm willing to keep. I mean, it's, it's by no means good. None. I mean, we're probably gonna get down on turn three Shady Informant. That is a huge potential problem. Oh, oh, oh man, the sickness. again. Uh, I don't want to trade for the token. All my white cards, no white mana. I 
I don't love this turn, but it is what it is. Getting that War Leader's Call in the collection now. That was worth the price of admission. Pretty much all by itself. I mean, wow, this is a, this is a lot of damage here. just be dead on board. Um, yep, three white cards, nothing, nothing great here. That's a hard loss when your splash just wrecks you like that, but it does happen. 2-1, still very respectable. That's decent. I mean, we got a, a good solid 2-3 follow-up. Sure. white mana that would be pretty nice right there three two flyer you say okay that off the board. I'm not sure what it is, but oh that's that was a pretty good one to, to move on along. I'm gonna say no tax here. Scrupulous agents look a lot like card draw potential. Or, or not. He's gonna have to block it, but apparently not today. Again, just just not getting the right mana. Maybe maybe four was correct.
Wow, that's uh, that's so strong. We will attempt walking shenanigans. They're not. They're not having any of our bullshit. Oh my god! Seriously, wow, that that hurts so bad. I think we just lose right there. I just think we might be done here. Yep, I do believe we are finished. So two and two. Do we get that crucial third win and uh, get a 50% win rate on the event? Let's find out, shall we? I mean, I kind of don't hate that. I mean, two back-to-back -back agents alone is a lot of card advantage. comes together it it does it pretty well they're still dirtling around with things um This is going to be six. Not too shabby. That's, that's really big. doing one. No, I don't think it is. Let's just say no tax here.
Oh, now that's... That's an interesting little tidbit right there. Now we have some reasonable blocks going on too. Not sure why he did not attack there. There we go. We got there. Third win. Lovely. War Leader's Call is just, just so good. All right, let's see if we can pick up a fourth win here. That would be a uh, pretty nice standing. Four and three is just so much better than three and three. I don't love this. I really don't. Um, I think we got a mulligan. This is so much better. Uh, we will keep this. And... I think we actually get rid of the Wisp Drinker. Sure. Insidious Agent to make Guardian a 3-3 and swing next turn. Feels pretty solid. Little less so now. I mean, they'd be crazy to not double block and kill the Guardian, right? Like, that would just be crazy. Drawing the land. Damn. We did not, in fact, draw the land. Now this I'm going to push in with. They're probably just going to take three, right? Not what I wanted to see there, sadly. Okay, it pretty much just literally doesn't matter because we're gonna have to say no attacks there. I could just draw land and get drone smith. No green investigate. Okay, well they've they've got some things in the yard now, that's for sure. Okay. 
Hey. I am kind of feeling this. They almost, oh, I was going to say I really expected them to chump block here, but apparently not. down, but again, tapped out of mana. Yeah, I should have swung that. I forgot about that option. Fairy Snoop can't block anymore, though. Pretty strong for us. Uh oh. That's a problem. Kill two, but not all three. So obviously he's going to kill Drone Smith and David. Oh well, that's a that's a pretty tight little pickup. Well, let's just turn things sideways. I mean, unless they, like, start gang blocking, we win all of these combats. Wow, and they took a lot of it, too. we do is uh, flip a card and attack in the air, right? Oh, well, we do we do have Rakdos, uh, the showstopper, here. That's uh, that's pretty, or excuse me, Patron of Chaos.
but I think we just win the game. That seems like the thing to do here. Sorry, we didn't have time to cast Rakdos because we were too busy winning the game. I'll take that. So the show goes on. Four wins in the book. I likes it a lot. That, on the other hand, I do not like. Um, that looks way, way better. I think we keep six and let's uh, dump uh, Caught Red-Handed. Pretty good card. I don't hate that at all. Play this straight up. Um, yeah, I, I think that's what we're gonna do. Well, that sucks. ready-made removal. Not really, okay. I think we just turn guys sideways, let the chips fall where they may. Sure. One's got to do a lot of work. Okay, those are better. I admit. No room to attack, though. Little face down, agent does nothing, sorry. Oh, now that's uh that's an interesting little tidbit.
gonna gang it. No, they're just chumping it. Okay. Um. I think we trade there. can't do that for very long. Ooh, that's a big boy. Well, that helps. No, thank you to the planes. We will try and deal real cards. Uh, no attacks. We'll just win next turn. Unless they has all the removal, which is, you know, possible. Face down. Okay. Does it flip and become a flyer? I'm gonna guess probably not. Sure, fine with that. Not walking into it, thank you very much. Okay, so he's gotta have an answer here or he doesn't basically where we're at. Nice. Sadness prevails. crap. And they have Vigilance, so uh, yeah, we probably just lose here to be real honest. Um, I'm, I'm just gonna say no problem. We did not top deck the shock that we did not draft. Well, that one was really down to the wire and came down to top deck. So I don't feel bad about that loss at all. Really don't. We will claim this up with some degree of pride. A 4-3 finish. Uh, 450 gems. Uno pack, as is, uh, as is quite the norm. And before we go, I want to take just a moment to thank my totally awesome patrons for supporting me and allowing me to apply my passion into a community. And of course, before we go, I've got some suggestions for your next step.